People in Crimea were watching, they were part of the Ukraine at the time, they were watching this whole Maidan on television, seeing the violence, seeing the insanity, seeing the Nazis storming the buildings, killing the police. And they said, we don't want anything to do with this. So they quickly organized a, a popular referendum for all the citizens of Crimea. More than 85% of the people in Crimea voted. And then of those that did vote, 97% voted to rejoin Russia and Russia immediately accepted them. So this happened on March 16 of 2014. Again, I'm watching all of this in real time. Let's look at this map of Ukraine. On the right side, you see the red uh, sections right along the Russian border, Lugansk, Donetsk, Mar Mariupol. This is a region that's called the Donbass. And below that, Crimea. These are all Russian-speaking, Russian ethnic sections of Ukraine. The western side, the blue side, near the Polish border, this is where these uh, right-wing nationalist Nazis predominate in Ukraine. And then in the middle part of the country, the kind of pink color, uh, it's really a mixture of both ethnicities. So right after this new government uh, came in, after this U.S. orchestrated coup in Kiev, one of the first things they did was they said that the speaking of Russian will now be illegal inside of Ukraine. 